Ariana Diaz scored in just 107 seconds with a brilliant header following a pinpoint cross from returning Daniel Carval. But in the 74 minute, Thibaut Quarta made the mistake that ultimately cost us 3 points as he conceded a penalty. Quarta rashly decided to rush out and bring down Samuel Chakwise after the Nigerian was played in with a brilliant pass. Rafael Baran was moving across to tackle the defender. So Quarta's decision was certainly reckless and it seems like this mix up between the two players was very costly. Gerard Moreno scored from the spot to make it 1-1 at full time. Real Madrid took 6 shots with only 1 shot on target for the entire game. We have now failed to keep a clean sheet in any of our last 8 games. This marks the 4th penalty that we have conceded over the last 2 La Liga games. Carlos Soler back in a trick from there for more gifts for Valencia. Real were missing some key players like Sergio Ramos, Benzema and Casemiro. Jovic was also missing. Speaking after the game, Sidan said, I think we deserve more considering what we did. Especially in the first half, we dropped 2 points. I'm upset for the players because of the effort they gave. I felt we could have taken 3 points today, that's a shame. Even Hazard took 0 shots and no chance created. He was sucked off in the 65th minute. Zidane was asked how long it will take for Hazard to properly return. The manager said, he's there, he played. We need to manage the minutes well, but he's with us and he's good. Zidane was asked about reports of Isco leaving Real Madrid in January. The manager said, no. What is happening inside will stay inside. Right now, Isco is a Real Madrid player and who's and is with us. There's nothing to talk about. So far this season, Madrid have taken 13.22 shots per match, just a little less than Barcelona and Atletico's 13.71. Yet both Barcelona 2.4 and Atletico 2.43 have scored significantly more goals per match than Madrid's measly 1.67. Ramos' absence was clearly shown in today's game. Real Madrid lost the midfield battle with Valverde and Casemiro missing. What are your thoughts, guys? Like, share, and subscribe. Well, I've realized that there's not many channels on YouTube in English delivering news about Real Madrid. Hopefully, this channel can deliver it to all Madridistas.